and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World the Game, where today, I think that's how I start every episode, isn't it? <laughs> you know, I went to the doctors today, well, I just had like a little checkup thing, um, and I, I was sat down, I had like my little hot chocolate, and it was like boiling hot, so I had to wait for it to sort of like cool down, I'm sort of sipping it while trying not to burn my mouth, and I'm, as I'm waiting there, I'm like, oh yeah, it finally got to nice room temperature. I was like, oh yeah, this is nice. And then the doctor's like, oh, do you want to come in? I'm like, no. <laughs> My heart chucky. So anyway, guys, how are you doing? I hope you're doing good today. Um, we've got a few new updates with this game, actually. Um, to do, especially with the, uh, the latest hybrid that was released. The Pachygalosaurus, I think it was called. Uh, also, just, you know, I was, uh, you saw me at my, my DNA worst, but now you see me at my best. <laughs> I have a lot of DNA, um, so we'll burn Pelicomimus. And then let's see what else we can put in. Is there any, any legendaries I've recently acquired? Yes, there is a, a Sukumimus. I think that was a Prion Suchus, or Prion Suchus? Prion, Prino Suchus. I don't know. I ain't no paleontologist, I don't know. But I'm not bilinguistic. So I don't know how it's pronounced. So there you go, Shunasaur. Sorry, guys, I'm just making up excuses. <laughs> um, so, ooh, we're gonna sell that for some food because we are low on food, low on DNA. Last time we checked in with this game, we were low on pretty much everything. So I'm desperately trying to claw back. And again, they keep switching where that pack is deliberately so people accidentally um, buy packs. It's, oh, it's such a cheeky little thing that they keep on doing, but they must have, like, tested it and realized how many people accidentally clicked on packs and bought them, and were like, hell no, we're not changing this. So also we go into events, there is this, ex escape alert, a deadly Cenozoic creature is back from extinction. Um, it's Cenozoic, it's purple, and it's feathered. It could only be the Death Dodo is coming back um, for some sort of event, possibly over the weekend. Um, I like I don't know when I'm uploading this, but that's what I'm thinking. It's probably for the weekend. Um, so we got that coming, and also the balance changes, which I don't know if I can find um, on here right now. But they did say that the Pachygalosaurus, this bad boy, is getting a buff because of uh, the feedback that um, the people seem to uh, quite obviously show because it costs just as much, like a thousand DNA less when really you're spending 70,000 um, on it uh, in comparison. If we go hybrids, look at that. It costs 1,400 less than Udon and you would think it would be about the same when really it only has like a hundred and a bit extra attack and a less than half health. So, really, if they wanted to go for something that had more attack than Udon, it it needed a lot more attack than Udon. If that health is fine, as long as it had to double the attack. That would have been fine. Like, half the health, double the attack. It's about the same. It's not really, like, I, you, you've got, where's, Metro, where's Metrophodon? Where's that Metrophodon? Where are you? It's hiding. There he is, 62,000, and you get 5,000. You get more help, more attack, and he costs an extra, what, like, 15,000 DNA? And you get less everything. <laughs> and, it's a car and it's a carnival, which we have too many of as it, as it stands. It's ridiculous. If I could English. <laughs> but you know what it is? Yeah, I'm gonna use him. Puggy Galasaurus, he's gonna win me a super rare pack by himself. Also, he seems to stab himself with the horn on top of his crest if he sort of lunges forward, which is always good. So we're gonna go with a tail strike. Bam! Yeah, I really didn't need to use him here, but we have to showcase him a little bit. But I don't know what to expect from the uh, the buff that he's gonna receive. I can only imagine that it, it has to be better than Metrophodon's attack. It has to be about 6,000 to make it worth it. Um, like I said, health can stay the same, but it has to have it has to have the most attack of anything, if that's what they're going for with this. Um, and that was me talking constantly for four minutes and 40 odd seconds? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, no wonder I record two videos and I can't speak for the rest of the day. You try doing it, it's bloody, it's hard work, you know. And that's the thing, I think with YouTube, um, a lot of people, or maybe adults and stuff like that, they don't maybe um, appreciate, or not appreciate, but sort of have an understanding of the amount of work that goes into it, because 
Uh, it, it's kind of like a desk job, except for you have to yell for an hour and a bit, maybe, in, in, and constantly for some <laughs> for some time. There we go, super, and ah, that's going to help us get our DNA up, because we really need that. A Spinosaurus. Oh, I gotta love Spinosaurus, as well as some more VIP points. So, I'm hoping, I mean, as soon as Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom releases, I would imagine we're going to see uh, Indoraptor come into the game. And in fact, in the Jurassic World The Game app, um, it's in there. So, and it's basically, like, the models that are in that game are these models in this game. So, it would make sense that that Indoraptor model will just be placed into Jurassic World The Game, the one we're playing right now. Uh, so, we have already seen the in-game model of Indoraptor just in a different game. Uh, to this one. So, oh my god, that's a VIP event? Oh, I, yeah, okay, I guess... I guess it, it could be worse. So, we'll put in Soprano Titan, who's probably going to switch into the T-Rex. So, we need Super Kool-Aid, and then we need... Yeah, Dominus Rex will do. The, the, thank you, that person who hacked me game. <laughs> now I have a level 30 Dominus Rex. So, I'm going to go for one reserve here. Because we can't die in one hit, and he's probably going to switch in uh, T-Rex. Yeah, because T-Rex has more attack. And is he going to go for a hit? He doesn't go for a hit. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to go for one block. Um, that's good. That's good, because if he had three, he could probably kill me. Uh, but he did block, so... It would have been a wasted one as well. Oh, there you have it! Bow right in the cheek! Pow, right in the kisser. So, there you go. There's an old Family Guy meme. <laughs> Uh, let's go for two reserve. Kill it. Yes. Die. Bam. Bam, Bobby. He's dead. Right. So in comes Pecky Eyes. Is level one, two, three. One, two, three. You lose your eyeballs. And oh, three. Yes. So, guy, I don't know if this is going up while I'm in, at Insomnia. It may well be. So, if you are coming to Insomnia, or, um, or yeah, if you're going, because I don't think you can buy tickets last minute like that. Uh, <laughs> so, really, there's only if you're going. Um, you can meet me. You can do a meet and greet. Um, I did ask about, because um, if, if there's, like, a program that you'll get when you go into the event, it should be on the meet and greets. And if you are there on Friday, depending on when this is uploaded, um... I'll, I'm doing a... Oh, wow, I'm dead. <laughs> I do have a Dominus, though, so it's okay. Uh, I do have a... I'm on, like, the main stage. And I don't know who with. But I, I've met almost everybody who's gone to Insomnia. Um, and they're all really nice. So it doesn't really matter who I'm on stage with. I'm just going to enjoy it. Because uh, usually when I go to Insomnia, I have nothing to do. <laughs> nothing at all. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Um, to finally uh, be doing something as opposed to... I mean, I go there, I get a boatload of free food vouchers. So, I think last time, I took a, I took a page out of uh, Yami, Yami's book. Because um, she, I think... Oh, 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 hold on guys, we got knocks at the door. I'll be right back. Well, that may or may not have been the Mattel toys for Jurassic World. Uh, Falling Kingdom. <laughs> anyway, see, there you go. Now, if people have watched this video, you've got a little sneak preview of what is to come. Um, but yes, uh, let's carry on. <laughs> so it is two carnivores and one flyer. So we need a fodder. We need, yeah, a Acanthus dagger. Oh god, did it just break? Yep, I think it may have just broke. Okay. <laughs> oh, and a missed phone call as well. Wow, everything is going wrong today. <laughs> Anyway, let's go! <laughs> let's do that again. Maybe it was a glitch with uh, a canto sticker, but not, maybe not, apparently. So we need a... We need something that can take on... Diso I would put in a Patasaur, but at the same time, the majority of the team is Carnivore. So I don't really want to waste that. I don't want to waste um, an Apatosaur. Because Apatosaurs, yes, it's good against um, Banana Beak. But apart from that, it's probably going to die against everything else. So I'd rather put in something that could face off against uh, Sundopterus. Uh, but also uh, take on the Carnivores if uh, needs be. So here we go. Um, he went for everything. So I can go for two block here and he can't touch me. Or as a famous song went, he can't touch this. <laughs> So now we'll go for three reserve. Oh, a video is done. Rendering. Ah, oh, fantastic. Happy days. Happy day. Okay, let's upload that. Look at this. You're seeing all the behind the scenes, except you're not really. <laughs> you're hearing about it. 
Yeah, it's all hectic. It's all bloomin' hectic. Like, um, I, I have loved, absolutely loved, um, doing everything I've done recently. Um, like, I went to Utah. I, I interviewed uh, that paleontologist, Jim Kirkland, and uh, Scott as well, who was working on the fossil. Um, and then after that, I went to California, and I did that Jurassic World Evolution event. Um, and then as soon as I got back, I have like a couple of days. And then I even rest days, because I've got I to gotta do stuff for the house and all that jazz. Um, and then I'm in a, insomnia. Um, and really what I wanted to do was actually go to PAX East. But PAX East is happening the same time as insomnia. Um, and I didn't want to be flying back out to Boston. Because I've I barely recovered from my jet lag from uh, the trip to America. It took me a week, I think, to recover, if that. Um, it was ridiculous. Uh, I felt like so ill and run down and I was sleeping at weird times. And I don't think I've ever had jet lag before. I thought I had, I've had jet lag. But until, I, until now, I was like, oh wait, this is jet lag. <laughs> Like, you just feel, like, st highly strung. You're, like, running on adrenaline because your body's not, like, right. But the, that one time, like, not too long ago, like, I think yesterday even, or the day before, when I had, I went to sleep at about 9 and I woke up at 9. So I had, like, 12 hours of sleep. Um, oh, oh, it was heaven. <laughs> it was so good. Uh, we have plenty of carnivores, though. Uh, so we'll definitely put that in. And, you know, Tani, Tani Colagrius. That's the one. That's how we say its name properly, James. So I'm going to go for a reserve here because he's not going to kill me. Even if he does switch in Bonita. Bonita Sora. <laughs> it's not racist, okay? Having fun. It's Bonito. Like. Fajito. <laughs> Vegito. Vegito. That is Dragon Ball, just in case. Just, just, just in case anybody's thinking, Wow, this guy's really weird! <laughs> right, well, there's two videos uploaded. Right, okay, the, how many more? Four left. Four videos left to do, uh, with a potential five, because I really want that fifth one done. We're doing good! I can do this! I can do it! In one day? Heck yeah, I can do it! Oh, you see, that's the thing with YouTube, right? Sometimes... It's the easiest job in the world, and it, you have so much fun. And other times, it can be so blooming stressful, because the amount of things you've got to do, and depending on if you've got an editor, or if you've got other people to help you out, you are by yourself. And you've got to do everything, single-handedly. And that can, yeah, that can be quite stressful. I, I have managed to do it, almost everything on the channel, single-handedly. <laughs> um, uh, but, like, certain things, of course, like the interview with Jim, uh, like, I couldn't do that by myself, and I'm grateful for everyone who arranged that, and um, I like Frontier for arranging the uh, California trip, and Whitney, of course, especially Whitney, for uh, putting up with me, uh, like, on her days off, uh, and me just approaching and be like, do you want to film this? Do you want to go out in the cold and film me running about? <laughs> and, of course, all you guys as well, like, I wouldn't be here without you. Um... So there's many people I have to thank, it, it, uh, but, a time, but most of the time it is just me by myself. <laughs> so we are, they're getting very strong, they're on 3,000 attack now. So we need Ostoposaurus, we need Pterodactylus, and we need a Pritrodon uh, in order to stand a chance. Uh, you know, the good thing is we go first, and going first is honestly the better, the best way to be. Um, so what I'm going to do here is... I could go for two hits. You know what? I'm going to go for three hits and kill him. And then Ichthyostega is going to go for one hit. Um, and he's going to have possibly one block. I'm going to have three. Uh, so I can't kill him outright. In a perfect world, I'd love to just go for three and kill him. I could if he doesn't block. But if he does block, he's alive. Because um, we do about like 7,000 damage to him. Um, so worst case scenario, he's going to have four. Um, hmm, interesting, interesting. I'm gonna go for two block, one reserve, and we, yep, that's good, that's good, okay. Um, now, what this means is, yeah, he's gonna switch, and hopefully he goes for two attack. He does! Oh, fantastic! Hats off to you! Hats off to you, laddie! You did a really good job. Right, here we go, let's go before it's got off that, uh, 
That accent. <laughs> Before we outrage some more people, James. Gaming people outraging min minorities of people since 2018. <laughs> right. Oh he, oh, he goes for one. One was enough. Oh, no. This isn't good. I didn't realize that. Um, right. It really depends what he goes for here. Uh, please don't go for two block. Oh, he goes. Oh, that's that's it. <gasps> We've done it. Yes. Oh, God. Worst case scenario, would he would go for two block, meaning that I could not kill him, and then he would have six, meaning that I couldn't I couldn't block it because four blocks against he kills me in two, I kill him in three, he kills me in two, so that was lucky. If he'd went for two block, there was nothing I could have done there, and that is it. Yeah, you know, just being extra safe there. So there's another fifty, and the final battle for that legendary pack. Um. Oh, great happy days! Angelodogus, Apatosaurus, and you know, why not? Segnosuchus. Uh, let's go for a block, because we could die in two hits, dear. Hopefully he does go for two. Oh, he goes for one, that's good too. Three, four, five. <laughs> oh, what am I doing with my life? Having fun is the answer. That is the answer. So, ooh, okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna go for three reserves. Oh, he blocked for two. Oh, oh he's got four. Is he gonna go for it? Ooh, no. Okay, well, I'm gonna go for that. I, you know what? I'm gonna go for some attack. Me as well. Might make all the difference. So, he's gonna have... He's got six. He can kill me in two, so he's probably gonna go for six. And just like that. Beautiful. <laughs> yes. Angelodocus is out, but a Apatosaur comes in with... Just over a thousand attack, bless it. But it does have a lot of health, so. It does have something going for it. So we'll go for five and then three. So we pretty much won this. As soon as Segna, Segna Suit just comes in, it's wiping the floor. I think like one hit. Nope, maybe two. It does about 7,000 attack, I think, when it gets that buff. You see, that's why you need Paki Galasaurus to have loads of attack, because it would almost. It would, if it had 6,000 attack and it was against a herbivore, it would do. Almost 10,000 damage in one hit. Which would be something to behold. It would be amazing. So we'll go for seven. And whee! 17,000 damage. Ah, this is interesting. We can definitely kill it in two, but six. Well, he's got... Oh! Oh, no! Have I just buggered myself? Because I didn't take into account how much attack he had. Right, he's got four. If he blocks for three... Ah, oh, there it is! Woo! He reserved for three, actually. Meaning he would have had seven on the other go. Got a bit too cocky there. And Segna Suchus takes the victory. Yeah! 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, god damn it. Well, we got some DNA and a Sarkasuchus. And more importantly, we did, of course, get the VIP points that we so desperately need. And that, my friends... What's the, uh, Ball Stage Infinite? Ooh! Ooh, we need that second of sutures for that one, uh, so I can't do that. And that is gonna wrap the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Uh,